Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here. Got an unboxing video for you guys today from Shoe Palace. I'm going to try to go ahead and do this this different technique for opening. It's called a suicide drop. Uh, you can't, you couldn't even see it, but uh, it was called a suicide drop. Let me try it one more time. You got to drop it down this way and then rotate it around like that. It's kind of tricky. Um, oh, there I did it again. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off this thing though. I put protective tape on here. Um, <laughs> Because this blade is sharp as hell, and uh, and I've cut myself many times with it, trying to do uh, fancy little uh, new techniques and stuff. If you guys are curious of the, the brand, the blade, I've had a couple people ask. It, it is a, a Bradley right there, and I have tape residue on it, but that's that's all right. Anyway, let's go ahead and, and open this thing up from, from Shoe Palace. I ended up getting this thing um, earlier than if I get something from Nike Store, because this ships from the West Coast. So, haha, finally a win for me. Uh, we get something a little bit earlier, not that much earlier. Um, excited to see these though because I have been uh, I've been waiting to see these since we saw original images of these. I've covered this shoe numerous times on my blog, um, and it is a pair of Jordans as you can see here. Box is a little bit janky right here; it's kind of creased, but Air Jordan Nine Retro. And moment of truth, let's cross our fingers in the quality on these things. All right, we got the Baron Nines. Now these are hit and miss. I know a lot of people were like not super feeling these. Um, I'm one of those people that I saw them and I was like, dude, I got to, uh, I got to check these out. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. Looking over, I think this is reflective material on here. It looks like this is reflective on here. I don't know how it is comparison to the three lab fives. I'll take a picture or the five lab threes. I'll take a picture side by side if it is reflective. Uh, and put it on Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram. It's uh, at Hess Kicks just like here. But that's the most significant thing about the shoe in my opinion. The 45 on the back. Um, so anyway, I've done a lot of articles on these on my website. If you guys have not seen them. Um, teasing up to the release of these since we saw the very first images. And I did a, uh, an article with Michael Jordan's bio when he played for the Barons. Which is a baseball team. He took a little bit of a break from the NBA. Played baseball. And if you guys don't remember, there's actually a scene in Space Jam as well. Um, I went back and was watching it, and I put it, I put some screen caps of that in the article as well, of uh, Jordan's number 45. It's, this is the team colors for the Barons, and uh, in the movie he was like playing, and the the catcher was like, "Oh, I'm a huge fan of yours," and he was like, the catcher was like telling Michael Jordan like where to swing. He's like, "Don't swing at this one. It's gonna be a curveball or whatever it might be." It was really funny. Uh, everybody was like kissing his butt and stuff, but. Um, but the colorway I thought was really, really clean. It was just, I mean, it's just really uh, a simple colorway, but um, I mean, black and, and white and then hits of gray, obviously uh, mostly gray around um, the entire sneaker. And then the lining was what was crazy too. It, it, look at this it, pinstriping uh, versus the regular checkered look on most of the Jordan. Um, actually, the Jordan 10s had the checkered look. I apologize. That that's a, that, the, Those are the, the two shoes that I always got confused is the Jordan 9s and the Jordans and Jordan 10s. When I'm when I was like trying to figure out which ones are which for the longest time, like I always mix those ones up. So, I'm still doing it and it's just weird seeing some sort of a pattern on on this. Um I could do like a comparison. I wish I could find my uh Dornbecker 9 shoe. I'm looking around my room right here to see if I can find it and pull it out, but I do not see it um cuz I don't know where the dang box is. So otherwise, I would pull the DB9 out and show you guys a comparison uh, between that and these because I'm sure that they look fairly similar. I mean, with the, the mostly white uppers, but I'm looking everywhere. I'm looking all around back here. I don't see it. Um, I know it's back there somewhere, dudes. Anyway, I you know, I might do a comparison video later. It depends on, on what I can fit into my schedule. I have a lot of other uh, videos kind of planned, um, so I'll do what I can do. But uh, did you guys pick up the Barons? It was a very general release, and I think that turned... A lot of people off from the sneaker uh, it's kind of silly because if this shoe would have hit, hit like uh, a very limited release people would have freaked out on them I guarantee it just because it's the first pair in, in my knowledge it's the very first pair of Jordans uh, with the 45 actually released on the shoe uh, we saw the Jordan 11s back in the day with 45 on the back like some space jams and stuff like that I think and some Concords but this is the first one to release and I thought it was a significant uh, sneaker, and it was definitely something that I was interested in picking up. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, again, leave a comment. Let me know, did you guys pick up the Baron 9s or the Baron 1s? 
Um, I will have some more pickup videos uh, later in this week as well. I might have one actually um, late tomorrow. Um, so yeah, just uh, excited to, to show you guys a couple more pickups that I got coming this week. And uh, this was the first of them that arrived. Um, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. All right, guys, what's going on? DJS here. Got a new unboxing for you guys from Sue Palettes. I'm going to try to do this this way like this. That was a little different technique if you didn't check that out. Uh, and I have protective tape on this thing. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that one over again. It's difficult to do. It's like a, it's called a suicide drop or something like that. Oh, I'll see. I dropped it.